friends, my name is LazyJet and welcome back to another Train Spillator 2019 race. We've got another double header race for you guys today and we've got Tornado uh, and the Dominion of Canada versus the Flying Scotsman and the Union of South Africa. I thought it might be a bit interesting so I have uh, Flying Scotsman which is my favourite steam engine in the world with my favourite A4 engine in the world so I thought that'd be a good thing. And you guys might have noticed I've got a different sort of webcam today. I'm actually using my real vlogging camera with my big massive uh, big light. You might have seen it in my previous vlog. But I'm actually using uh, the big light just to you know, help out with a bit of lighting in the room. And I'm using my vlogging camera to try and test out the, you know, the because my webcam, because the lighting is different, it's been shown with, with the FPS. So it's only running at 25 frames per second rather than 60 frames per second, which is kind of sad. So I'm actually decided to use my vlogging camera and use that as a webcam instead to see what how, how it'll look for you guys. I mean, I think it looks great, but if you guys don't like it, then please just leave a comment in the comment section below and let me see if you guys what you think of it. But hopefully, I'm still experimenting with my gaming setup to see what you guys think, but I hopefully, well, hopefully, this will be a very good gaming setup. So I hope you guys do like it, and if you do, then make sure you click that like button and, you know, just let me know how you guys think, because it's always good for you guys to um, let me know and keep updated of how the setup looks, because I'm still changing. I keep changing it, and I keep experimenting with it, because I do use green screen, but that's not no longer a thing now so just keep uh, just keep updated and just let me know how the setup looks but back to Tracy later we are gonna be programming these engines to do a hundred and twenty five percent power I think yes I think a hundred percent hundred twenty five percent power so let's go to world editor and go to the train section and start programming we're back to the programming I can't I need to speak better programming oh a June sale 17th to the 25th of June 2019 I would buy that, but, you know, I don't have any money at the moment because I spent it all on redecorating my room, so that's sad. Everything's sad today. But anyway, programming. So, engine number one, which is the Flying Scotsman and the Union of South Africa, will program them to go on platform two, and we'll have you at 125% power. Then engine number three, which is Tornado in the Dominion of Canada. It does sound very close, doesn't it? It's very country-related. Uh, Union of South Africa and the Dominion of Canada. So Africa and Canada does sound very similar, doesn't it? I mean, I might get confused if I'm recording. If I'm recording this video and if I say one of the engine names wrong, please don't blame me. So we'll have you on platform three and we'll have you at 125% power as well. And see which one is the fastest. Far, fast, far, fastest. So without further ado, I mean, I don't want to waste you guys' time because you just want to see some train racing. So in three, two, one, and blast off and see which one is the fastest. I mean, I really want Flying Scotsman and the Union of South Africa to be the fastest because those two are my two favourite engines. But Tornado is more younger and the Dominion of Canada is more streamlined. So they might have a better chance of winning this race. And those two are so in sync right now. It's insane. Look at that. And as always, we're driving the Supercast 47 again. The Supercast 47 has become very involved in my racing now, apparently. Oh, but Scotsman and Tornado are just so in sync right now. I mean, which one's going to pull away ahead quickest? We don't know yet. We'll just have to wait and see. We should have find out. Well, it's very laggy at the moment. It's very glitchy. I'm just trying to stay in sync with the speed. But at the moment, they're still like buffer to buffer. It's, it's, I can't explain how amazing this looks. So we're at 80 miles per hour now, and I think they're still literally buffer to buffer, which is insane. I mean, this can't be a draw, can it? I mean, there's no such thing as one of my train simulator races to have a tie. I mean, that'd be, like, impossible. I mean, we might have had a tie in my old train simulator races. Maybe not. I can't actually remember. Don't know. But we are doing at over 110 miles per hour right now, and they're still buffer to buffer. That is incredible. I mean, it is a bit laggy. This is kind of hurting my eyes a little bit. Oh, and Tornado is actually pulling away faster than Flying Scotsman. Oh, no. But for those of you who do like Tornado, then well done. Well done to Tornado for being faster than Flying Scotsman. But then again, it's the uh, Dominion of Canada's help. I mean, because of her streamlined and her extra power, she's actually given a Tornado a little helping hand. A helping puff. I mean, we're in sync with Flying Scotsman right now, but the Dominion of Canada and Tornado are just pulling away. They've got more... Sp I mean, Tornado's younger, and Dominion of Canada is more streamlined. I mean, Flying Scotsman's very old, and the Union of South Africa doesn't have any streamlining on her, so that's kind of a big deal. I guess it's true what they say. Streamlining does make a big difference. Thumbs up to the streamlining world. So we'll leave Flying Scotsman and Dom not Dominion. See, I see. I told you I'd get it wrong, didn't I? I did say I would get it wrong, but the Union of South Africa is falling behind, so we're gonna leave those two to it, and we'll just see how well Tornado is doing with Dominion of Canada. I mean, a long time ago, when I was first doing my like a Class A4 races, do you guys remember that the world's biggest A4 race I've ever done? 
I couldn't actually pronounce uh, this engine's name, Dominion of Canada, or Dwight D. David Eisenhower. That's one of the presidents of the United States of America, which is kind of weird having a, an American president on a British steam engine. It's kind of weird. I mean, there's another A4 called the Dominion of New Zealand. Don't know if that still exists. And we're entering the first corner. Can I get, like, a, an epic shot of these guys? I need some uh, epic music. Dun, da, 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 da. I mean, granted, my singing is very terrible, but, you know, we'll cross over. I mean, I'm not a very good singer, but, you know, you guys like it when I'm being silly on camera. That's what gig makes good views, isn't it? Funny, being funny on camera, embarrassing yourself on the internet. I mean, that's what YouTube's all about, embarrassing yourself. I mean... That's the way I roll. Right, let's catch up to these guys, because Flying Scotsman and the Union of South Africa is actually falling behind badly, because here, they, here, they, here these guys are. But look where th uh, the other two are. Tornado, de Tornado in the Canada one. Uh, Dominion of Canada. That's the one. See, I always get confused with the names. They sound so similar. The Union of South Africa, Dominion of Canada, they, they sound the same. You guys understand. I also want to say that my vlogging camera, the FPS, is working very well, because normally in my uh, webcam that I use for uh, recording, it's the FPS isn't actually very good. But this is working a treat. I mean, look how smooth my arm is waving. It's very, very nice. Doing 180 miles per hour. Let's apply just a little bit of braking. Just a little bit. God, just a, just, that was just a tiny amount of braking. And I like, almost lost 100 miles per hour in just that braking. That's how quick it was. And that was like, what, less than three seconds. God, the Superclass 47 is super insane. <laughs> See if we can try and stay in sync with these guys. So we're doing like, what, 130 something miles per hour? Maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more. I'm not entirely sure. We have to try and stay in sync. I think they're in the 120 zone. There we go. Very nice. And there's Flying Scotsman in the Dominion. No, not Dominion. Union. Union of South Africa. That's not going to get annoying at all very soon. But I actually want to thank you guys for suggesting, because there was a fan, I can't remember his name, and whoever, if you are, who, if you're the one who's actually suggested this idea, thank you. Uh, we actually suggested doing a double header race with Tornado at, well, you guys have seen do double header race. You guys have been saying, do loads of double heading races because they thought you'd be more fun and more interesting. And to be honest, they kind of are in a way. They're way better than just a, like an all singular race. So maybe in the future we should do like triple header racing, if that's actually a thing. But thank you guys for suggesting these amazing races. I mean, I wouldn't actually be here if it wasn't for you guys. So you guys have just been... Absolutely insane, amazing. Not insane in a bad way, insane as in a good way. So you guys have been the best. I love you guys for who you are and who you've made me. And thank you for su suggesting all these amazing races. I'm so glad to make your dream and imagination into a video. So it's making your dream a reality. Thank you guys. How I've been blabbing on about saying thank you to every single fan I know. Uh, we've reached the end of the line, uh, the final corner. I can see the final corner. And I think uh, we have to conclude that the Dominion of Canada and Tornado are the winners. I mean, let's see Flying Scotsman and the Union of South Africa. There they are. They're uh, quite far behind, which is quite sad. And I, oh, and I think they're they are starting to apply their brakes. So I think we should too. So apply a little bit of brake. Wow. That was just a tiny amount of braking. And already they've just gone boom, like a bullet. Boom. Oh, but the Dominion of Canada and Tornado looks smashingly good in this side of the light. Looks amazing, doesn't it? Seeing um, seeing the the sunlight reflection off their boilers, get that nice shiny effect. Shiny effect. We're coming up to the end of the line now, my friends. It's the end of the line. It's the end of my time. I don't know what I'm singing. I don't know what I'm singing. But let's apply our brakes to see. Oh god, that was too much brake. See, that made me stop instantly. I want to get to like the end of the line before these guys does, because I want to get like an epic, an epic like. Photo finish, if you will. So let's press F4. See Tornado come in with Dominion of Canada. Very nice. Very good. And where are the Tornado? Oh, there's to uh, Flying Scotsman, not Tornado. Why did I say Tornado? I'm get How did I get Flying Scotsman's name confused with Tornado's name? That's ridiculous. That's kind of nuts. But here's Flying Scotsman and the Union of South Africa coming in stone dead last, which is quite bad and sad. Sorry, Flying Scotsman. But you guys can disagree with me, but Flying Scotsman and Tornado look... Very similar, don't they? Apart from Flying Scotsman has a walk through tender, but apart from that, they do look very similar, don't they? They certainly do. I mean, for those of you who disagree, saying that's Flying Scotsman and Tornado, they don't look nothing alike. 
that's your choice. But you guys can disagree with me or agree with me on that one. But, you know, I think they both look quite similar. But that concludes our video for today, my friends. I hope you guys did enjoy it. And if you want to see more, then make sure you click that subscribe button and turn in the little bell notification on so you stay notified to the channel. Make sure you follow me on Twitter and Instagram and Twitch. All the links are in the description. Guys, thank you again so much for watching. And please let me know how the uh, my new webcam looks. It's not really a webcam. I'm just using my vlogging camera as a webcam. But please let me know how it looks. So what you guys think. I mean, I hope you guys like it. I mean, I hope I like it as well because I'm, it's my videos and it's my channel. I'm, I'm, I want it to look good. But have a good day, my friends. And remember, it's all about the game. And I will see you all next time. Bye.